Hey, let's take you outside. I want to show you what it looks like from Plattsburgh right now. When we looked at this shot last night, well, one, it was dark, but it was very foggy and very rainy. It rained hard last night in a lot of spots, including in the Plattsburgh area. But things have kind of cleared up here over the last uh, several hours now anyway. And that's some good news here as we get into the uh, next several hours. Things looking pretty good. 71 degrees right now in Plattsburgh. Uh, with a north wind at about 10 miles per hour or so, and we'll continue to see temperatures warm up a little bit as we get into the day tomorrow. Across the rest of the region, upper 60s and low 70s for most. Mentioned the 71 in Plattsburgh. It is 71 right now in Burlington. 60s, though, from Montpelier to Middlebury, Lebanon, and Rutland right now at 66 degrees. All right, rainfall totals just wanted to pass along. We saw some pretty impressive, uh, impressive totals here for some. How about Brattleboro picking up about three and a half inches of rain here over the last uh, 24 hours or so. Elizabethtown, two and three quarters uh, inches worth of rain. Callis, Jericho, Bradford, some pretty impressive totals. Again, generally between one to two, two in some cases uh, over three inches of rain for many folks here over the last little while. And to areas of the south where they've really gotten in on some pretty good rain totals here over the last a week or so anyway. Any more rain really going to cause some problems. National Weather Service does have a flash flood watch in effect for Bennington and Wyndham counties through at least later on tonight. Here's Storm Tracker. Things quieting down now across the region. Still some scattered showers around, though. Mentioned some of these showers that are back across, uh, well, north of the Albany area now moving off towards the north and east. So parts of Essex County getting into uh, uh, Addison County could be seeing some rain showers here over the next little bit. Something to keep in mind tonight. But uh, again, the trend for some clearing and things looking a little better as we get into the day tomorrow. As we head through tomorrow, we'll start out with some extra clouds, I think, in the morning. But the sunshine breaking through as we head through the afternoon. Not only that, how about temperatures getting up into the 80s by later on in the afternoon as well? Here's future cast. We'll time it out for you with the clouds around tonight and some scattered showers as well. Maybe a shower early tomorrow morning, especially areas to the south. But notice the clearing here coming from the north to the south. Still can't rule out maybe a scattered shower in spots tomorrow afternoon, but I think we'll get in on some sunshine. It'll be a nicer day tomorrow. Same thing on Tuesday, some sunshine mixed with the clouds. Chance for some showers and storms around not only on Tuesday, but on Wednesday as well as we have a cold front that will be pushing through Tuesday into Wednesday. will cool us back down into the 70s for later on in the week. So tonight, mostly cloudy, some fog around overnight as well. Still some scattered showers, 50s and 60s for lows. And then tomorrow we get up near 80 degrees in the Champlain Valley, upper 70s. Uh, and low 80s across northern New York, sun and clouds mixed, maybe a scattered shower in spots. Same thing across northern Vermont and down to the south as well. More the same with temperatures in the 70s to near 80 degrees. For Tuesday and Wednesday, again, those scattered showers and storms. It cools down on Wednesday back into the mid 70s and we will hang out there for most of the rest of this week, but back in on some sunshine to finish out the week.